Everyone's not perfect. Even Justin Bieber needs some editing. Well, a lot of editing. But you can edit your tracks in Track Editor. So one of the things that I can't live without when I'm playing a keyboard is a sustain pedal. It's just so necessary sometimes, just because when you're playing a melody, um, especially, especially when it's single notes and you're not playing uh, full on chords, it's just, it really needs that sustain and it just, it holds out all the notes at the same time and it just sounds so much better. So we're gonna learn how to do that. We're gonna learn how to manually use the sustain uh, within GarageBand inside the track editor. So for this example, I'm gonna use in the song our electric piano because this little melody has a bunch of single notes and it has no sustain on it yet and it's gonna sound way better once I add it in. So let's dive right in. Um, if you don't know how to get to the sustain view um, and you're stuck on the notes because usually that's what you see. Um, if we scroll, there, there, there's, those, there's those notes. Just go ahead and click on the down arrow and you head down to sustain and that gives you the graph for sustain. Now the graph for sustain is really simple it's just either on or off because that's all the sustain pedal really is, is you pressing down with your foot. I mean, because that's modeled after a, uh, uh, a piano. So once your foot is on um, the pedal, you just click on the on side and then vice versa. And I'll show you right now. Um, first, I'm going to solo out the electric piano because we don't need to hear everything else. Okay, so that's our little electronic piano part. It's really simple, simple, simple melody. But it's gonna sound so much better right now. So that's what it sounds like without any sustain pedal. Now I'm going to simply hold the Apple key and once again, it's that pen tool. It's really a universal tool within this track editor. And I'm gonna go to the top because the top is the on and we wanna turn on the sustain. So I'm gonna click on the top right at the beginning now this line shows that the sustain is on throughout the whole entire region. So all of the notes are gonna be held the entire time. Now, since I'm gonna show you the difference between sustain and not sustain, let's do halfway through, I'm going to turn it off. So I'm gonna place an, a little dot down here. So hold Apple and click near the off. And there we go. We can see, we can visually see the graph that the sustain is on and then about halfway through it's going to turn off and you'll see or you'll hear how the notes will sound. So let's take a listen. See how it sounds so much better, so much richer, so much uh, uh, more fuller and not so dry. So that's what the sustain pedal does. So go ahead and sustain yourselves. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Well,